What is going on guys, it's Crazy Pickle with another Skyforge video. So we got an announcement that new classes coming in, coming soon sh should I say, but it's probably not just the class. So they're saying that it's also going to be something else, but they didn't reveal yet what actually will come with the new class. So let's just go, as you can see me right now, I'm on a website, let's just read through the little story or kind of a history about the new class, how it actually um, appeared and what's the reason of it. So discover the fiery legend of a warman, uh, warman Garin, whatever that word is, elder god. So they're talking about some elder god that was kind of a, like a fire god or something like that his flame worshiping cult and an event that changed alien forever we are happy to finally reveal ignition the next free skyforge content update due for release in september 2019 inspired by exciting and untold tales from aliens history this update introduces a host of new content to explore and a brand new playable class uh, fire class the fire starter well okay first of all the name of that class, Firestarter, it's just ridiculous. I mean, they could have come up with something more cool. I mean, it's a fire class. Like, come on, it's fire. It should be something that would sound cool, that would actually, you know, make people fear that class or enemies will fear the name, just hearing that name of the class. It's like, but Firestarter? Um, um, okay, well, let's, let's continue. The Firestarter is a Skyforge's 18 class and the first ever fire-based class to be introduced to the game. Boasting a dark trickster as, um, a th a th with hellish elements and her... Uh, I can't even pronounce so many words, man. So whatever that word is, a uh, flare thrown in for good measure. The Firestarter is a theatrical fighter that wields twin torches. Okay, let's stop right there. Twin torches, you can see the picture um, here, right here, above. He holds two fire torches. Looks 100% ridiculous. I mean, the costume, look how cool the costume is. Seriously, and you add the two torches to that badass class? Come on, you could have come up with something better. Like, I'm gonna actually drop the picture right now. Like, um, the style of a class, the costume, you know, and things like that. Like, that's probably how they need to leave the class. They don't need a torch. Like, I mean, you can throw the fireballs and every fire attack could just go, like, from your hands. You don't need some kind of a weapon to show that you can, like, throw the fire or something. So, because I will explain a little bit more why would that, uh, like, if you don't have any torches in your hand, just throw the fire... Um, from your hands i will explain a little bit later and just why so and you can actually see it while i will read through that you will actually understand probably why i'm actually in kind of referring to that so uh where is that okay and can deal damage at range with powerful fire attack so it's going to be a range class okay that's pretty cool and looks like the that kind of like the tease for the abilities like a fireballs uh, meteoric storms and feisty transformation are all possible with this fast and agile new class. So it's definitely going to be a really fast class, like more mobile, like uh, moving faster, I guess, than, I don't know, Cryomancer or Alchemist. So looks like the abilities could be like a meteoric storm. Let's compare to like a whiteout from Cryomancer, but I would say pretty much going to be maybe the same thing, just the meteor storm so uh, fireball i would say it's probably going to be some maybe kind of a first ability maybe you just throw the big huge fireball in front of you and whoever uh it, it could be two ways it could ex go straight exactly to the target you're targeting or it just goes straight line and whoever's on the way of that fireball will get the damage so it could be that and of course the feisty transformations so it could be the ultimate attack would be some kind of a transformation maybe you will become some kind of a fire uh, fiery beast or something i don't know but we'll see i mean transformation it could be something cool and i'm i'm hoping that class is gonna be pretty cool uh, if you're not gonna count the freaking two torches in your hands so 
All right, let's continue. Where exactly did the fire starter come from? So this is why you will understand why that class not gonna need torches. In the ignition reveal trailer, which we will look after I'll read this part, we introduce to the um, descendant of the cult of the flame, the follower and personal army of the warlord and elder god Kier. They've passed their story down over the years with their own version of um, history, even even finding its way to Asteria's hands recently. Their adoration of Kier blinded them to the reality of his iron-fisted rule. So he was like a dictator or something like that. However, the, uh, the end, the devastation and terror brought upon Elian and its populace by his terrible firepower. So he was pretty much really badass, so that, that elder god Kier. Actually, we're gonna watch the trailer after I read the last part right here. And then that's why you understand why this class don't need a torches in his hand. So, since his defeat, Kier has been rotting in exile for centuries, waiting for the first immortal to be born of the Cult of the Flame in order to plan his escape from his eternal prison. Pyrus, the hero of our tra trailer, you will see, is tragically killed in combat with the Gorgonites after an attack on his troop. However, Pyrus is re uh, revealed to be one of the immortals and his post-death experience leads him to an um, ominous encounter on the astral plane with the disembodied Kyr. Kind of like a, his soul or something like that. The fire god merges his essence with that of his immortal follower, giving new life and powers previously unknown to Pyrus, and a means of freedom to Kyr. His plot has reawakened and ancient practice of fire magic, long forgotten by the peoples of Alien, and created the very first fire starter in the process. So that's, see, he, the god, the fire god merges, uh, the fire god merges his essence with the Pyrus. So he kind of like possess him partially, not fully, but partially, that gives him some, uh, like partially of his power like a firepower to the pirates, to the guy who got possessed, I guess. So that's why that would be really cool if you're not gonna add the torches. Just remove the torches and you can fire, you can shoot the fire from your hands. Pretty much like Kinetic, but Kinetic has those big chunky gloves. You can do something like that for this class, but just keep it like it's just a glove, just a regular costume glove and just shoot the fire from it, that would be the really badass. I'm just gonna put the picture again, like how that actually would look cool without a weapon. Okay, so here's the picture right here, cool. Tell me if you agree with me or not in the comment section. So let's watch the trailer real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, lend me your ears for a story about a great elder god. Kia was a master of fire magic and established the Cult of Flame. His rule was just, but some were jealous of the Cult's mighty powers. War broke out, and a terrible inferno raged across Alia. Kia's followers scattered, the god vanished, and a new age dawned on Alia. But we, the Cult of Flame, never lost faith that he might one day return. Be rewarded.
Okay, I do like the trailer. Again, I don't like those freaking torches. Like, come on, man. Completely ruined amazing looks of this class. On my opinion, of course. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, in the comment section. Yes, John, down, down right there. In the comment section. Just right under the video. Also, guys, I noticed that only 21% of viewers who are watching my videos are subscribed. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe and activate notification that you won't miss new video I post. Like this video, join my Discord server and follow me on Twitch because I will stream time to time. All the links you can find in the description. Until the next time, take care.